Well, first of all, congratulations on the new single. Thank you. Thank you. How have you found the initial response uh, to Perfect World? I don't know. I haven't paid attention. Oh. <laughs> Try not to read any. Um, I do, I succeed at not reading any reviews. People have been nice about it, I guess. <laughs> well, to our face, they have. <laughs> yeah, to our face. Behind their back, they um, hate it. Well, we haven't hit Germany yet, and they just love to tell you the truth there. So I'll tell you. I'll tell you in a week. Yeah. Okay. They'll be like, well, so this is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They're like, no. Yeah. Great. Thanks. And is it the first time you work with Ryan Higgins? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How did you find that? Amazing. 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 Like, Ryan really Higgins amazing. Is a true. Troops. Yeah, a great guy. So positive. He's a cheerleader in the studio. Yeah, he's a really awesome, open minded person. I think we had, like, he didn't hate me because I was a lesbian at all. <laughs> <laughs> so open minded. <laughs> We and he and I had a very deep convo about porridge. Oh. I was like, I don't like it. He's like, that's not the point. I was like, don't care. And you also work with Mark Ronson. Mm-hmm. How did it differ working with Mark to Brian? I mean, it's like I'm like not apples and oranges. Apples and oranges, night and day. Every producer is really different. Yeah. Um, it's like, well, for one, like Mark, like we're all kind of the same age. So it's like we had the exact points of reference at the same time, like listening to like the same jokes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, with Brian, it was actually interesting to not have any of the same references. Yeah, it was yeah. so like, we funny. We could kind of like come together in this really pure way where we weren't influencing. I don't know, it's strange. Well, it's you have to redefine the language. And with Mark, it was like very smooth. Like you could be like, oh, give me something, a band. Young Marble Giants. Young Marble Giants. <laughs> you know, and he'd be, and like, he'd be like, yes. oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> we, and when then, we went to Brian, we were like, you know that zombie song, Time of the Season? He was like, no. Yeah. Like, amazing and I was just like this is going to be great yeah, yeah. it's going to be great yeah. and not in like an outdated way it's just that we listen to completely we have completely different kinds of he ears he had like a really fresh perspective on what we yeah. were doing yeah. and he, he really liked the songs that um, got he, us out of the punk hole yeah he just had got us out of the punk hole <laughs> so Nathan just said he crawled out of the punk hole and crawled out of the punk hole and made an appearance got on the pop yeah. ladder yeah exactly it was just nice it was nice. Yeah. I mean, you've previously spoken about image as well. Um, yeah. I know you described Gaga as like a less dangerous version of like 80s gay and punk sort of culture. Yeah. How much of your image is, is you personally and how much of it is influenced by your music? Like, oh, to me it's one and the same. I love yeah. that question, by the way. <laughs> love it. Um, I am obsessed with, Im- I like not image, but like aesthetics. Like I love like how things make you feel. Like visually. visually, by the way, that thing about Lady Gaga is not less dangerous. Does it mean I don't want that to be sound mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah it's yeah, not yeah. a judgment, you know. Yeah. But you know, because in the eighties it was fucking dangerous. Nobody yeah. had ever done that before. Um, no one could be as dangerous as then. Yeah, nothing. Madonna, nothing Madonna, nothing was as dangerous as the eighties. <laughs> I mean, nothing could be nothing. Dangerous, nothing could be dangerous um, now. It's true. It's true. Switchblades everywhere. And it's like, Switch blades and leather jackets. The subway in New York was crazy. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you saw the Beat It video. Oh, yeah. Have you ever heard a guitar before? Yeah, wow. Um, but, like, what was I thinking? Oh, I love the way that it, like, I get just as excited about all of those things. Like, because it's, it satisfies two parts of my brain. Like, when we're at home, like, even Tana earlier was making a dog. You redecorate your house all the time, too. Yes. But, like, when, not, like, redecorating, like, get in, get in Gigi and redo the whole thing. Mm-hmm. But constantly, like, I just, I get so bored, like, constantly remake it, like, making over things. Like, I can't keep the same set of curtains up in my living room to save my life. It drives my girlfriend crazy. Because I just need constant visual change all the time. So for me, like the they come at they come at the yeah, same time. Like when we're making a song, and like it's finished, or when we're in the studio, or even like writing the song at band practice, I'll be like, I know exactly what, what this should look like. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like yeah. I get really excited about that. And luckily, we work with like really, we have such a cool group of crew of people that like we can work together and like tell each other if we don't like yeah, our ideas. Yeah, we trust them. Yeah, I mean, I don't trust these two, but I trust everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame you. That's true. Don't blame me. Don't blame you.